one of the more common uh, drugs that are that's used in cancer therapy is one that has only recently come to market. It's called Palladia. And uh, let me ask you first, Dr. Ettinger, tell us a little bit about Palladia and, uh, and your thoughts on it. Yeah, Palladia is a really exciting new drug for a lot of different reasons. First, it is the first FDA approved drug for dogs. So most of the other cancer, anti-cancer therapies that we use in dogs, so your traditional chemotherapy drugs were designed for people and over the years we've learned how to give safely in dogs. So Palladia was designed for dogs and it was actually um, targets a mutation that about a third to um, a half of dogs with mast cell tumors have. And so it's a class of drugs called CKIT inhibitors and it targets these mutations that some dogs with mast cell tumors have. Okay, uh, and you use it for what kinds of cancers? Well, obviously the number one cancer that we use it for is dogs with skin or cutaneous mast cell tumors. Um, but we've also learned that this drug inhibits some of the other um, angi uh, angiogenic um, receptors so it's something called, um, it can be used for something called anti-angiogenesis. So we're learning as a drug has been available for about two years now that it's having some efficacy for some other cancers, specifically thyroid carcinomas, anal sac carcinomas, um, and osteosarcoma. So it's being used a little bit more widespread than it was initially designed for. Okay. And Dr. Dressler, what are your thoughts about Palladia? I think Palladia has its, certainly has its place in the toolbox that we have available for treating canine cancers. It got a lot of press because it was the first drug and as such uh, became very well known, but we, because the first drug approved for canine cancer. Now, we should understand that most of the drugs that we use uh, in conventional uh, cancer care in dogs are actually human drugs. They're approved for use in humans and uh, uh, may even be more frequent uh, than the use of Palladia. Okay. Now, there are some interesting side effects from Palladia and, th and cautions related to Palladia, right? Either one of you want to uh, pick up on that? Well, Palladia is an oral medication that you're giving at home usually every other day or on a three-time-a-week schedule. So commonly we're using it Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So most of the time when we're administering injectable chemotherapy at the office, um, if their dog's going to get side effects, it's usually going to be within the first couple of days. And it's, within a couple of days, the dog is going to get over those side effects. With Palladia, since it's continually, continuously being given by the guardian at home, those side effects can continue to build up. And it's really important if your pet's having any side effects, weight loss, vomiting, diarrhea, changes in appetite or energy, that you contact your veterinarian and you stop the medication. It's more important to give the pet a Palladia holiday than to keep plowing through the side effects. So it's really important to early recognition of side effects, stop the medication, and then contact your oncologist or your veterinarian who's managing the case with you. Dr. Dressler? Absolutely. And if one digs a little bit, uh, either in uh, a conversation uh, with the oncologist uh, or even online, there are uh, data available uh, that give you the odds, the statistics. Okay, what are the odds of getting a side effect? You know, I think with Palladia, it's 30, 40% or something like that of some sort of GI upset, vomiting or diarrhea or these types of things. And there are more rare and more serious ones as well uh, that you can find. And it's important that as a guardian for you to understand exactly what that means. Uh, Dr. Ettinger, you know, operates in the area of uh, chemotherapy and uh, as such for her, it could be that uh, seeing a dog who's vomiting it would be more routine um, because that's something that does come up from time to time. But as a guardian, one of the, the duties is to ask yourself, okay, am I prepared for this? And as long as you've prepared yourself for what's going on, then at that point, you can make a decision. But always ask, 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 get the data that you need. Okay. And I guess final question, uh, Dr. Attinger, I'll throw this to you. What's the, what's the price tag for, for Palladia? Well, that, that probably would depend a little bit on what part of the country you're in. But um, in general, for about a 70-pound dog who's on the medication um, either three times a week or every other day, just for the drug itself, you're probably looking at about $500 per month. 
Um, so I have to say, you know, in the spectrum of some of the other injectable drugs, it's um, pretty moderately priced, um, but, you know, you know, moderately priced. It's not one of the most expensive drugs that, that we have. Okay. Uh, Dr. Ettinger in New York, Dr. Dressler in Hawaii, thank you so much for being with us. More information, a lot more information on Palladia and all sorts of different cancer treatments, both chemotherapy and natural, in the Dog Cancer Survival Guide. Thank you both. Thank you. Thank you.